Did you know that Google makes almost $100 billion in search advertising revenue each year? Do you know what that means? That's right, PPC advertising works. By connecting directly to the user intent and being performance-based, PPC advertising outperforms tenfold display advertising in click-through rates. In fact, in a recent survey run by Rakuten Advertising, of their own admission, 26% of marketing professionals confess to waste their advertising budget on ineffective strategies. Hi everyone, I'm Gilles Argivier, and today I'm going to give you my top 12 tips to stop wasting money while writing your PPC ad. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel, and if you're on YouTube, click the alert notification button, that way you'll get notified on all my new posts. Tip number one, have a unique selling proposition, or USP. It's probably the most overlooked, yet the most important. In one headline, you should state the end benefits you're offering to your potential customer. Make it an attention grabber and avoid at all costs being generic. On the contrary, be very specific. If you have multiple options to choose from, write multiple ads and test them against your audience to see which one gets the best CTR. On the other hand, if you're struggling to find your USP, despite all your efforts, it's all right. Remember, you don't need to be unique to the whole world, just to the customer's mind. That's right, perception can become reality if presented properly. A great article from Anthony's John in Harvard Business Review indicates some value proposition ideas that always work, such as best quality, best bang for the buck, luxury and aspirations, and must-haves. Tip number two, use similar headline copies on both your ad and landing page. MarketingExperiments.com, in a recent survey, showed that conversion rates could increase by over two and a half folds when the landing page was capturing some of the headline of the Google ad. Tip number three, mirror the visitor's end goal. As an example, if the potential customer is typing sell your car in the search box, an ad that shows we buy your car versus sell your car could result in a 30% increase in CTR. Tip number four, use countdown timers to trigger loss aversion. It's based on the knowledge that we're more readily motivated by the idea of losing out than the idea of gaining something. Google has recently come out with a simple countdown timer you can set within your text ads. Clark's America saw a 32% increase in CTR and a 3% increase in conversion rates from using these timers. Tip number five, keep your ads current. This is based on our feeling that certain things are more relevant or exciting when they just happened by running these two ads. One control ad and one updated with accumulated savings, I have seen a law firm increase its CTR by a whopping 217% and increase its conversion rate by 23%. Tip number six, include a call to action. The easiest way to get people to click your ad is to ask them to do so. Seems basic, almost silly, but it works. Remember, you can even boost your CTA by using power words. That brings me to my next tip. Tip number seven, use power words. No matter what type of content you are creating, whether it being an email, a newsletter, a video, or some copy on your website, you will need to use the right words. Power words play on our psychology and when used properly, are proven to compel people to take the right action and increase your content audience and social media engagement. In the same way, if your Google ad copy is filled with power words, you will build a strong desire for your product or service in the customer's mind and your ad will consequently convert at a higher rate. In fact, Teespring increased their conversion by 12.5% just by adding a few power words to their call to action. As a reference, if you're looking for more power words, check out my new 2020 list of 965 words that you can share or download on my website. Tip number eight, make your ad personal. There is nothing more personal than using your customer's name in the ad. And fortunately, this is not possible just yet. Therefore, the next in line is the term you. That's right. You is considered a power word and it will have tremendous impact on your conversion if used properly. So how do we use it? 
Check these two ads responding to a potential customer looking to create an online store. Do you see how Shopify manages to personalize their ads and where AmeriCommerce struggles? That's right. AmeriCommerce fails to address what they can do for their customers, nor do they use a magic power word. Tip number nine, make your ads hyper-localized. Did you know that according to WordStream, 43% of all search-related conversions happen over the phone? You probably target your ads by location, and this is a good thing. You may even have enabled call reporting where Google provides a unique phone number that is displayed with your ads or extensions. The issue though, these forwarding numbers will share the same area code as your business, but not a local number to your customer. And did you know that having phone numbers with geographic proximity to the visitor can double your conversion rate as engineready.com demonstrated in a recent study? So, if you're still using the regular Google call forwarding in your Google Ads call extensions, stop it now. It's pretty clear. It will not help with your conversion. Instead, find a call tracking provider and start buying all their local phone numbers that match the areas you will be advertising in. In turn, use these numbers in Google Ad extensions. This way, when your potential customers see in your ad local numbers to them, it will increase your conversion. Tip number 10, use extensions. We just mentioned one way to use extensions with local phone numbers, but there are plenty more available. You can provide more information about your business, phone number, or additional deep links into your website by adding extensions to your text ads. Use every extension relevant to your business goal, but no more than four for optimum results. The good thing is that they're all free and they'll only show if they are predicted to improve your ad's performance. Tip number 11. Use dynamic text to customize your ad to each person. You know that personalization is the name of the game and now Google Ads allows you to do so. You have four powerful options. Countdown, ad customizers, keywords and the if function, all of which will give you great results. Tip number 12. Don't include the name of your competitor in your ad. It might be tempting to try to steal leads away from your competitor, but this can get you in a lot of trouble for copyright infringement. So stay away from it. So that's it. If you need help with your digital marketing needs, check out my website, gilargivier.com. If you enjoyed this video, like it, share it, and tell other people about it. Thank you for watching.